Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks Plays Transport Fever. This is episode 13. And in previous episode we have been connecting the Chipping Sudbury. And that's why our story begins with a Klondike traveling to Chipping Sudbury. Well, technically we won't be doing a lot with uh, Klondikes or the river traffic instead, but we will be doing more actually tied to the trains and the main line. Well, not main line, but the line going to Chipping Sudbury. And the plan for today is actually to go and extend the route to Chipping Sudbury all the way up, up and away, up the mountains to the Wharton Thames, hopefully. Oh, let's just take away these ugly red texts, which represent how much I'm paying for all these wonderful vehicles and stuff and maintenance and all that jazz. Yeah, who wants to see that anyway? I realize that I don't have many like waterways ride along, so I have decided instead to actually show one for starters. Yes, so there you go, Klondike. And it is going and it is delivering food to Chipping Sodbury. And in the distance, I believe you can see one of my trucks coming back from its final round, I believe. And a couple of more trucks eagerly waiting at the Chipping Sudbury docks. Hopefully, uh, they will be picking up stuff where this Klondike leaves things and then we can actually yeah, modernize it. By the way, Chipping Sudbury is all the way north, so yes, uh, the Chipping Sudbury is the end station for our um, for our shipping traffic. There is nothing past Chipping Sudbury shipwise. However, railwise, you ha we have this big old mountain that you can see in the background, and that is the mountain that we will be scaling, actually, because. Wharton Thames lies beyond that big of a mountain and um, it has like two, three industries. So it is very interesting for me, both passenger and cargo wise. So that's the main reason why I want to have it, well, connected with rail. Okay, moving along, we have our Klondike turning hard to starboard in the hope that it will not pull off, uh, you know, a triple axle and hit the docks, which I'm bec becoming increasingly concerned about, or it will run aground simply. Oh, let's change the angle to prevent to prevent immersion breakage. All right, Klondike arriving at the station and as you can see it is fully throttling up just to ram things and stop and reverse, reverse, hard in reverse. Yes, I actually like these small details that the devs have actually added. For example, now pulling a hard reverse just to make sure that we s that it stops and unloads. So let's see how much is the full Klondike worth. Cha-ching! Three quarter of a million. Nice. And as you can see, the stuff immediately pops up in the truck depot in the background, which kicks our delivery trucks into the high gear. Okay, enough ride along for this um, for this part of the episode. Anyway, we have the, here the station, Chipping Sodbury, which I said we have connected in the previous episode, 
with passengers traffic. Oh, we have a new eco. Oh, Junkers F30. Oh, it's a plane. Beautiful. Uh, by the way, guys, and this is the Warton Thames. This is actually the town that I'm hoping to connect. So you can see two industries, extreme height, and uh, passengers. Yeah, ideal for a train route, isn't it? And a scenic one at that. So, as you can see here, we have the train tracks that we have already prepared and we will be extending past these. Make sure that we use standard tracks. Not containery as of yet, although I need to start considering it. So, and this is one of the reasons where I, why I like this map, where it shines above others, because it's very hilly. So it does make for some challenging gameplay. So we will try and go with a mild incline. Then we will turn it ever so slightly, 362k, that's acceptable. Yep, committed. Let's extend it a bit more. Same slopage. Right. Accept it, I think. Hmm, shall I? <laughs> Let's see, how do we continue from here on? Because we need to scale this mountain all the way up, so I might be inclined to actually pull it a little bit. Well, speed-wise it's good. Ah, I'll take it. Right now I'm just trying to find the route which I will be taking and later on I'll be looking into the contours. Oh, why are you giving me this? I didn't ask for it. Well, I guess I have... I should delete a little bit. And then let's continue the climb, shall we? Somewhere up here. This will be a little bit building heavy episode. So all you train track building lovers, you will be coming on your own. Now, this would be the optimum spot, I would say. And let's see how it goes. It will, it is going to ram the mountain, but this turn is so harsh that I will actually need to go through the mountain, take the tunnel and cut a little bit, yeah, cut across. I guess I got that one right, so let's see, tunnel, and then you'll be exiting somewhere here, just trying to maintain same climbing angle, a little bit more shallow than that, come on, give me a good quote, yep, alright. 692k. Well, money technically isn't a problem. I mean, my goods line or my food line is practically printing me money, while the main line is also very profitable. Pretty much, I think only one or two lines, one of them being the route to Chipping Sudbury, is, is basically losing me money. But uh, that will be picking up, I hope, soon enough sooner rather than later. And as you can see, we cannot go straight up like this little bit of road, but we have to skirt the mountain. So, yep, yeah, and I'm thinking now, should I climb up or just go around? And I think I'll have to go around the mountain. Which is actually good, because then I will be picking up the, that other factory along the way. Wow. 
I think I'll need a powerful locomotive to be able to pull this off. Now let's uh, bulldoze this a little bit. Uh, yes, we will need another tunnel. Don't give in, don't give me train terrain alignment collision. Sorry, I almost said train alignment collision. That would be a funny one. One million? Can we do it cheaper? Don't fight me. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I am a little bit worried because there was so much near terrain alignment collisions that I'm going to double track it this section immediately. Sooner rather than later. Good. Now we have to go around this mountain. Which is good because the turn is kind of okay. So let's see. So far looking good. Let's see if we can get a quote to get to the other side. Not too steep, terrain alignment collision, come on. Yep. 1.16, angle still the same, great. Do I want to take it? I think so. I don't want to be climbing higher than I need to and then descending. I'd rather keep the level and use the tunnels to go. So pretty soon I'll need to go to Walton or Wharton Thames and actually start building from there as well. Let's just double track this section as well. Here you are and come on. Snap please. Yep, no terrain alignment collage, beautiful. Okay, let's reconnect the route, or the road, otherwise it's gonna be crying at me, which is something that I'm not willing to tolerate. You are a small country road, I think I'll want to go with a medium country road, after all, this should become a little bit more important country road than this. Oh, this is just butt ugly. Come on. Incline. Well, it's too big of a bridge for too little of the slope. So yeah, let's shorten it up a little bit. Something like this. Yes, 125K. I'll take it. Oh, and then this looks just butt ugly. Wow. Hmm. Well, talk to my friend, Mr. Bulldozer. Now let's try and connect you in a, in a little bit more sensible way. Hmm. I don't like the gully. I prefer something like that. Yeah, makes more sense. Then let's deploy the smoother tron. Yep. There you go. All fine and dandy. Back to our track. Now, we do want to approach a little bit and uh, as you can see these contour lines would suggest that it is a little bit downwards from the peak so it is on a little bit of a valley but not too big of a deal so let's put the land use and okay at the left hand side we have an ideal place to be putting the cargo station while on the right hand side is an ideal place for the passenger station Oh, if, I, if only I could have these two combined, that would be just wonderful. But 
Life's not perfect. However, since this is the end station, it's an ideal place to be putting terminals. And look, we have new terminals available. Beautiful. So let's see how do we want to take it. I do want to my terminal to be taking care of most of these greenish residential houses. I think two tracks is enough. And let's take the curvature because I do expect to be taking the train swinging to the right of this industry and then continuing onwards to that little valley where I will be meeting the route to Chipping Sodbury. And I would prefer not to have terrain alignment collision, thank you very much, and I would prefer not also to have to bulldoze stuff. Hmm. What would be the biggest catchment area? I found that although it makes my life harder and uh, the stations more expensive, placing the station in the middle of the town rather than waiting for the town to expand is actually very beneficial. Now, we were talking something. I think I want to remove you as well. So something like that perhaps, maybe. However, I'm thinking also I want a separate cargo station. So, but uh, passenger station would be ideal here. Let's go to the cargo station. And cargo station I want to be putting also close by, but with a bigger curvature, I would say. I want to put those stations almost next to each other. Somewhere here? Well, that would be a very nice catchment area, right? No, not really. Hmm. I'd prefer... not really... 1.6 million? Wow! You're a pricey bugger, aren't you? 2.17 million, come on! There's got to be a cheaper than that. Unless... Hmm... Could I be deleting that one instead? And I don't like this slope, as you can see that is ramping up towards the end though. It's just butt ugly. Nope. Hmm. I'm not feeling it. Okay, let's go with the curved station and could we put it like this? Because you see, ultimately I would like my curved station to go and to go to another station which would be down at that industry. Because uh, then we could have use of multiple stations, you know. So, hmm. But how will that intersect with this main line? going with the passengers. Oh, decisions, decisions. And it's pricey bugger. So it is 320, two tracks, containery, no. Second street connection, no. I think I'll need to go to back to my original idea, which is to stick it somewhere here and have very high curvature here. You see? 633K, one building will be removed. Now you're talking my numbers. Why on earth did you want to charge me two million over there? I don't get it. Yeah, three buildings, two buildings, however, who cares how many buildings will be removed. It's progress, ladies and gentlemen. And if I take a milder curvature, 
would I be then uh, hum, 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 going to the left hand side of this uh, endeavor instead? You know what? I think I will rather take some street, just pull it off here a little bit out. 320k, 310k. Hmm. Let's take the small street instead. Um, medium street is where it's at 32 kilometers an hour. I don't want anything to be going slower than that. But then again, it's a short stretch, so yeah, who cares? You know, I'll take it. I'm clearly over engineering this. 320, okay. And I think I want to curve it a bit more. So, yep, 190k. See, you can be reasonable and look at the catchment area on that. That's just perfect. Yep, committed. Okay, now time to place another station, which is the passenger station next to this weenie. It will also be curved, but I wonder how much. Slightly less, something along these lines, I'm thinking. I want them to be almost parallel to each other, however, not too much. Now, this is a good catchment area, but I think I'll need to take once again the same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie. So let, let's take a route a little bit out, and I have a good reason for it, which I'll share with you in a moment. So, see? Very nice, great catchment area, everything running in parallel, yes please. Let's bunch them up a little bit more even. Come on, 131, 132k, I'm down with it. Okay, fine. Speaking of that, that actually brings us to, let's close this route a little bit. I want to be thinking about where will the town develop and I want to give AI some hints how it could develop and where. And now it's time to figure out how to connect to the main line, or not the main line, but to Chipping Sudbury, and then also how to connect that industry, which I've been yabbering about. So, I think I'll go up to this contour line roughly here. Oh, it's a little bit high, steep hill. Well, Slightly less, come on. Yep, that looks about right. Same slope, so to say. And I think this actually contour line describes everything that's Walton Thames and all other Walton Thames on all others. I don't know if it's Walton Thames or Walton Thames, sorry guys. Then we can cut across the mountain a bit. Or go straight, hmm, you see? Now this is where actually building from reverse would come actually in handy. So I might actually just do that. I want to connect both of these with the same track. 
However, I don't know where yet I will be placing the station, so I don't know if I'm curving this uh, cargo line left or right. And why are you sloping down? Hold on. I don't want you to be sloping down yet. So let's uh, level it. Oh, then we will have a steel bridge. Okay, that changes things a little bit. It is pricey. However, if I can get it to extend to here, that would give me some options in terms of this industry. So where do I need to connect? Uh, hmm. Okay, not exactly there, but rather curving a little bit to that mountain side. Okay. So let's curve it this way a bit. Four million. I don't want to be putting it all the way down though. Looks good so far. That's one sexy bridge. Oh yeah, look at it. One point forty nine million if I take it to here. Of course, because there is no tunnel. Uh, let's see if I take it here. Should I be raising it a little bit? Maybe not. One point fifty three. And where are you going, Sunny? You are continuing, and you will be actually connecting, and you're going to the same height line. Okay, this is looking better by the minute. 147, same height, no tunnel. 120 with speed. I fail to see the downside. Let's take it. Whew, that was a pricey commitment. And now let's just see if we can connect these two straight up. All right, steel, bridge and tunnel. 120 all the way. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have connected our route. We'll just obviously need to double track it and lay all the amenities that come al along with this, such an endeavor, but uh, yeah. The route has been identified, the path has been cleared. Call it whatever you want. While I'm just mucking around and connecting this, it is a long route and a very, very long route, but yeah, there is our passenger station. It's fortunate that I have been printing money since, so that I have enough of it for this such a pricey endeavor. Let's put the diamond crossing here, shall we? I do expect to be running two passenger lines and two or more cargo lines. Come on, you're gonna fight me? Don't be fighting me. What is this? Well, bulldozer. I mean, it's, um, yeah, this is what I want. Come on, and then on the other side and just do it. See, that wasn't too hard. I mean, it's not a high speed junction, but it's a junction. So, yeah, let's put a signal over here. Another signal over here. Now we need to th start thinking where will we putting the rest of the signals.
Well, technically not yet. We need to actually first connect the second cargo station. And I've already crossed this, so I am thinking that I want to be going underneath rather than over. But um, I will be needing a truck station as well. I want to put a large cargo truck station, but that would delete all the progress that I did. So I don't actually like it that much. A smaller one would actually work nice because this is only a drop-off station. It isn't technically a pickup station because pickup is to the middle of the city anyway. I think for the drop-off station a small one will be will do nicely actually. I was also considering to run, you know, a uh, truck route all the way to the other industry behind the one with wood and stuff, but where would be the fun in that? And also I want to be putting a bus station here for our daily commuters. I did remove a lot of commercial districts right there, so, but yeah. I think those will grow back up once we start meeting their demands. Now, you, Sunshine, how will we connect you? That's my next headache to ponder. I must say, this bridge made things a bit easier for me. But, and we have here an oil refinery, which is definitely one of even more reason why I wanted the cargo station train here. Because if I would be ferrying anything by cars, this would take forever. We would be coming to the end of the playthrough and the first deliveries wouldn't still come. So yeah. Now let's see, if we go beneath. Ah, you're gonna fight me. Let's just pull up a small country road or something. Small street, small street, medium street, come on, no streets, I want roads. Well, I don't care, I just want road. Straight one, yes, like that. I have no idea why it's fighting me to the death, but okay. Now, let's see if we can figure out how to curve the station. I mean, curve station, it's a thing. Right. Okay, curve you this way. Nope collision too much curvature well I haven't curved the station all the way but you're still complaining about the curvature if I do it like this then my exit line will be sucking badly hmm I still need to reconnect to the main line which is a little bit worrisome but what hold on if I put it on this side would that be better actually Something like that. Yes, that could actually work. Something like that. So it skirts the industry a little bit. A little bit stronger curvature there. But I could actually be putting another street going up rather than down. Hold on. I was first thinking something like that. Nope. So, if I turn it like this, no, then my entrance to the station is botched. It has to go something like that. And it's good because then I can go around the track under the bridge. So let's just, okay, let's just smooth this a little bit. Smooth, smooth. Yep. Let's also lower this a little bit down section. 
lot of preparatory work, but yeah, that's the cost of building. Okay. Now, if I pull another street over here. Okay, and now if we try to put a station here. Still fighting me? How about if I just... Oh, this could work. This could work, I'm feeling it. So if I just turn it by a little bit. I want to extend it slightly more. So that I can put a stronger curve. Oh, but not on the street, you moron. Straight, yes, straight, good. Now then, curve station, yes. Does it take the factory? Yes, it does, great. And now angle it so that you have minimum problems. So wrong side, something like that, come on. And now ever so gently turn it a bit more. See, that works. Come on, can I do it? Oh yes, I'm I'm ready to go do it. I'm in it. Done. Now, as you can see, the track goes nicely under the bridge, so we just need to connect it to the station. What the? Hell are you thinking, Sonny? No, not like that. And you're colliding with this. <clears throat> you know what? I'm not buying it. I'm just gonna extend you nicely underneath yeah, until here, where it's not colliding and it's still running 120 kilometers an hour. Beautiful. Accept and then I'm gonna be connecting you to the station. See, yeah, drop in speed, yes, slope, yes, but it's an end station, so I don't give a rat's ass. And it's cargo, so I don't give a rat's ass either. So, old diamond cross it. Too much slope. See? No slope. I knew you would see it my way. Okay. Good. And the good thing is that they are on different levels, so they are not in the way of each other, which is I find actually very good, because I want my passenger line to be as quick as possible. Now it's all a matter of connecting this goods line somehow. We are maintaining course and speed, good, and we will be connecting somewhere over there to the main line, or, yeah. Whether this will create me a lot of headaches or not on the incline, I don't know. I'm expecting it would. But then again, if uh, this becomes profitable enough, I can always four-track it. Given the side that it's a mountain pass, it's not really realistic now, is it? But, well, yeah. I over-engineer stuff, that's the way I roll. I especially like one of the quotes from Colonel Failure, I'm a huge fan of his, where which says, like, measure once, cut once, bulldoze everything. So yeah. And speaking of bulldozing, did I just build a wooden bridge? Yes, I did. Okay, this was not intentional, I swear it. Now, steal one. Yes, thank you. 
Okay, that covers the goods line. Let's double track it all the way up to here. Snap, wonderful. See, I knew you would see it my way. Double tunnel. I'm sorry, what? Whom are you colliding with, Sunny? See? No collision whatsoever. Just some good old fashioned building. Now, I do want these two to connect at some point. And I don't want this ugly passes or whatnot, so let's just see if we can... You see, I... Uh, I ain't feeling it. The snap point is like dropping speed. Nope. Don't want it. How about this instead? Much better. I'll take it. And then we snap it somewhere here. See? Look, see. 120. And yeah, then we connect it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Well, that will have to do, I'm afraid, for the time being. Good. Let's connect the second track. Terrain alignment collision, but you're willing to cooperate all the way up here. Good. Then we will be just putting you as a third track here and then just connecting you onto the main line. At whichever speed this bloody game allows us to. 75. Oh, I had it. I think I'm, I'll take the 75, thank you very much. Cool. This is probably one of the uglier junctions that I have seen, but yeah, I think it will work. Let's put the diamond crossing here just in case. I don't think it will be necessary strictly, but you never know. Now, signals. The moment everybody has been dr uh, waiting for. Let's first signal up the passenger route. Because that will be the main focus for this episode, getting the passenger route up and running. Cargo route I will establish, but I have still to do some preparations, so... Right, then we put some signals here. Good. Then add the merger. Actually, I don't want to be putting, I want to be putting one here and one just before the intersection. Hold on, somewhere here. And that would be for the cargo line. For the passenger line, I don't want to be putting anything because that one will have the priority, of course. Okay, then pass the tunnels on the exit part. I do apologize for some fast scrolling and these lumpy... Oh, we haven't completed our track. Wait, 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 wait. Right, because I was just building on the slope. Well, I think this part is simple enough. So technically it shouldn't present of a problem and we have more than enough, 45 million. Where are you, sunshine? Yep. See, snap, very nice. And then connect to the road, or sorry, not the road, but to the rest of the track. 
Wonderful. Okay, so here now we do have We do ha need to have a diamond crossing, just for the sake of the crossing. Oh, beautiful. And it's a high speed one. Very nice. Well, high-ish. Let's put some signals. Oh, I cannot look at this. Smoother Tron, just a little bit. That texture was, you know, it was an eyesore. Good. Where were we? Ah, yes, signals. Since this would be a climbing route, you do want to put them a little bit more frequently. And I might even consider adding an overtake section. Hmm, this looks about right. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Now, Where's my train? Ah, it's probably somewhere at Oakham. Oh, there's one. Are you? Yes, Oakham to Chipping Sudbury. It's going to barely carrying two out of 112 passengers and then I'm wondering why it's not profitable. Go figure. Okay, Chipping Sudbury and then we want to be going to Wharton Thames. So after this you go to Walt on Thames. Yeah, it's Walt on Thames, sorry. Uh, why I'm not seeing the route? Okay, it does come to the Chipping Sudbury, but why doesn't it... I don't even see the route. Oh, because I'm, that's, because I'm a bloody idiot, that's why. I need to be adding uh, Walton Thames after the Chipping Sudbury, of course. Not the... Yeah, and it's going to the wrong... Uh... Yeah, 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 whatever. That will be quickly corrected. Assuming I put Walton Thames after the Chipping Sudbury. So, yes. After you, select the station, make sure to select the passenger station, yes, and as you can see it is double tracked and it goes the right way, beautiful, all the way. Now let's see if it goes the correct route. It does. It seems that it does. Wonderful. Well. I think that was enough building for one episode, don't you think? I think we would actually... We might want to actually do a ride along on the Oakham to the Chipping Sudbury train. Or actually, it's no longer Chipping Sudbury. It's now... Walt on Thames. So I might actually be revising that. Yes, thank you. So Walton on Thames. Or short. What? Right. And we have only one. I think we will need to add a couple of more trains. I think three-ish. But um, that will also depend on the demand. So 
for the time being. We could actually... Yeah, it's a long route. And the army of our trucks is un going to unload. At Shipping Sudbury. So I'm thinking I, I could actually put... Um, a depot somewhere along these lines because it will take some time until that guy actually comes over here. So let's put you sunshine somewhere over here and then I want to be putting some track. See good connection. Then I want to be extending like this so I can actually take them from a different direction and you will be connecting also to the main. Too much slope? Come on. There is no too much slope. See? I told you you could do it. Great. Now I want to be constructing another train and I want the same profile as the one currently on here. So that would be the A35. Yes. And how many? Eight coaches. Three axles. I think we will be getting soon the other one but I... I'll have to just keep it for the time being. Okay, you are assigned to Oak to Wood. So, we might do a ride along on that one. A35, I mean, technically it's not the most advanced steam locomotive, but it's powerful enough and it certainly is pricey enough. So, let's see. Chugga, 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 chugga. There you go. I'm really wondering what speed it takes. Oh, just look at that. Well, at moments like these, you wish you had a camera with you. This is just beautiful. Be-e-utiful. Mm-mm. I just love this map. Okay, turning a little bit to keep from immersion breakage due to the camera clipping. It seems that it's not the fastest, you know, train in town, but it has a certain momentum to it. I'll check on later what's the top speed at, because it's going uphill and it's hauling quite a decent amount of coaches. Wow. Yeah, we are chipping a good deal of the mountain here. Okay, let's put it on the side window. It is going 65 kilometers an hour. I think it's actually quite nice. Hauling that many cars uphill? Poo, I am happy. Yes. I'm just looking at my other lines and we come to the bridge that... 72 kilometers an hour, as you can see. It is picking up speed despite going uphill. Now, that's a champion. That's the spirit. And if by the time we get to Walton Thames, if we will be having at least a passenger or two, I will be ecstatic. A little bit tunnel gully, tunnel gully, but... There we go. And 
and 83 kilometers an hour amazing so you see it was very good that we were building with a gentle slope as we are still able to you know accelerate to a decent speed and bear in mind that this is an elderly locomotive powerful yes but elderly so if we put anything more modern here it should be even faster and more powerful of course okay here would we'll be separating the lines so yes final tunnel I believe or almost the final tunnel there is one more coming yes Here we did less negotiations because, um, yeah, we are now thinking of getting into the city, rather. So, another tunnel. That's the final one. And as you can see, we are already made back. We are back at 51 million. So, yeah, like I said, cargo lines, printing cash. Oak to wood. 100 kilometers an hour. See, it's going beautifully. Okay, going over the cargo line. I have to think about what engine will I be sticking there. And decelerating by a large margin. But it's okay because we're pulling into the station anyway. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Oh, we have a passenger. Yay! Two, three. Oh, boy, oh, boy. More passengers. And I just noticed I've built this one to be two, 320 while all my other ones are to 40 which makes sense because we want to be calling a lot of passengers uphill yes right okay let's just quickly inspect okay it seems that we have some cows waiting over there but let's build another oak um, train depot let's build another of these bad boys Right, set you on the oak to wood. Okay, now we have three trains and I think that would give us enough frequency at least so that we can do something about it. But we still haven't connected the commuters, guys, and that's something that I want to be doing before we wrap up this episode for sure. And given the fact that I've been playing for a better part of an hour... We need to be wrapping up things. So, a couple of ugly roads. Or not. So, like we said, bus stops. And uh, because I do not want to be building anything else yet. Ah, uh, you see, Walton Thames and uh, AI decided to build a small road intersecting mine. Wonderful. Okay, truck depot, and I believe we have everything I need. I want a line manager, and let's create a new line. We will be starting at, let's just call it, Wood Commuter. So we start with the station, we then do a circle around the town as we do in most of my towns. Great, and then I buy like four station, I don't know, three post buses. They are currently the latest and greatest, I guess. 
Well, 1905 and we're 1920. We should be getting a sooner rather than later a new bus, but okay. Let's put this nice green color. And given the fact that we are coming up on the end of the episode, uh, we might as well do a brief... Um, yeah, and the later episode I will be connecting this uh, few things, probably an industry in general. But um, let's just follow a little bit this road vehicle until we wrap it up for today. Yay, yellow post bus. I wanted to see how a mountainous village looks like which is Walton Thames. I just don't know what is Thames here because there is no river. Okay, following the bus route. Yep, don't let me stop ya. Okey-dokey. Right, and as you can see, we are coming up on our stations. So, I would actually like to take this opportunity to say, well, thank you very much for watching. Throw a like if you like it. Throw subscribe and press that little notification button on the on YouTube. Well, yeah, it's a funny thing, because if you press it, then you'll be getting notified when new I post new content, if you choose to do so. Oh, and we have a crocodile, which is a new locomotive, but that we'll be taking into the next episode. So until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Gromfworks, signing off from Walton Thames.